All right, in continuing our discussions with writing equations for lines, uh, I want us to look at an example where the equation that we're starting with is given in standard form. Uh, now, we want to be parallel to this. As we remember, uh, slopes for lines that are parallel must be exactly the same. Now, you could take this guy, come over here off to the side, and find out what the slope is by solving for y. That could be quite messy, and you could run into fractions. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Um, but first, let's do it the easy way. Um, as I showed you in the video just before this one, if you have something that is in standard form and you want to be parallel, keep the ax plus by part exactly the same. So we know that to be parallel to this guy, we're going to start off with 8x minus 9y. And it's just a matter of figuring out what is this number supposed to be over here. Well, you may have to think that you guess and check, but no, the answer is really kind of given right here. You have x and y coordinates there, 2 and 3. All you're going to do is plug those guys in here for your x and your y. Now when you do that, you end up with 16 minus 27, and that equals negative 11. This number right here is the number that's supposed to be right here. So the answer to this question very easily is 8x minus 9y equals negative 11. You see how these two guys match up. The ax plus by part is exactly the same for both of them, 8x minus 9y. And their constants are going to be different, which is going to lead to different y-intercepts. So these guys are going to be parallel. Now, we can do this the hard way if you want to do it, which, of course, I'm sure you do, because why would you ever listen to me when I try to show you the easy way? So let's take this original equation and solve it for y. So 8x minus 9y equals 3. Solve this guy for y. So subtract the 8x. So negative 9y equals negative 8x plus 3. Divide everything by the coefficient of y. So divide everything by negative 9. And you have that y is equal to a positive 8 ninths x minus 1 third. Now, if we're trying to be parallel, we don't really care what this um, what the y-intercept is going to be. We just care about the slope. The slope for this original line is 8 ninths. And that means to me the slope of the line parallel to that also is 8 ninths. So if I use this slope and I use the point, um, then I can find the equation of a line and it's going to satisfy this. So let's go ahead and use the uh, slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. With y equals mx plus b, you have your slope, and you have your x, and you have your y. Now, what we saw up here is that your x and y are going to be the 2 and the 3, so your y is 3, your x is 2, and your slope comes from this guy, which is going to be 8 over 9. And then, of course, your plus b. So you see, right now, you're going to have to mess with fractions. I mean, I already was able to do it over here, and I didn't have to worry about fractions at all. But whatever. We love fractions. Make our lives difficult. Grumble, grumble. All right, so 3 equals 16 over 9 plus b. Subtracting 16 over 9 from both sides. And go ahead and convert this 3 into ninths. So that's going to be 27 over 9. 27 minus 16 is going to give you 11 
and then over 9 is equal to b. So, take your, uh, take your y coordinate for the y-intercept, take your slope, and then together, this will give you your equation, y equals 8 ninths x plus 11 over 9. Now you may be wondering, wait a minute, that does not look anything like what I had up here. Well, these guys are the same, except they're in different forms. This is standard form, and this guy is slope-intercept form. Now just so you know that I'm not messing with you, and that you will realize that these guys do represent the same line, uh, let me take this guy right here and clear the fractions. Now, to clear the fractions, we would just have to multiply everything times the least common denominator, which is 9. So multiply all of these guys times 9. When I do that, I have 9y equals 8x plus 11. Move the 8x term to the left side, so we have a negative 8x plus 9y equals 11. And again, you may say, wait a minute. That does not exactly match up with what I had the first time. Well, yes and no. No, they are not exactly the same, but they do represent the same thing. Because on this guy right here, if I divide everything by a negative 1, then I end up with 8x minus 9y is equal to negative 11. So you see, in standard form, this is going to match up with what we already had. 8x minus 9y equals 11. So you can either have this in your standard form, or if you prefer to do all of this long work over here, then you'll eventually get to your slope-intercept form, which is y equals 8 ninths x plus 11 ninths. Both of these answers are acceptable, but in terms of how can you make the problem easy, keep things in standard form. If you start in standard form, Work it in standard form and your life is going to be a lot easier that way.